Twitter, YouTube, it's Breaking Insights. And I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you always watch the full video. All right, man. What's the first topic? What you want to get into? I feel like I got to talk about what I, what I came to talk about. And what is that? We just going to start off. Y'all know I don't lose on the internet. I don't know why people keep trying. Oh, Magley, by him. Okay. I don't lose on the internet. I don't know why people keep trying. Bro. I don't know what it is. But I feel like people getting a, a little too comfortable with disrespecting me. And y'all don't do y'all research before y'all look me up. Yeah. Right. You know, people got kids, nephews, nieces. They all know me. Start asking your kids about me. I don't appeal to 45-year-olds. I'm not too to, to entertain 45-year-olds that I'm richer than. But we're going to slow roll into it. We're going to get into it. We're going to go to Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You you just don't don't appeal to a forty five hating year old. Got put the hating part in there, bro. I ain't forty five, but I'm quite sure there's some people that's that are forty forty five that are still watching because the videos are they're entertaining. Crazy. So I'm gonna give y'all a backstory. So I've announced and me and Hallie have split. Right. It's life. It happens. Right. She's still family. I love her to death. No matter what. Everything's still good. Never know what the future holds. Anything else past that statement is nobody else's business. I see people. Damn. I was truly hoping he was still going to come on here and say that it's not true. He was in his feelings. He was at, he had a moment. Somebody took his, uh, something other than that. But, hey, got to accept it. People keep yeah, creating. Absolutely. They keep creating uh, stories, timelines. No one was wrong in the situation. Nobody came out and said he did this, she did that. No. Me and Hallie, our family, we good. We just taking a little break. Don't know what can happen in the future. That's none of y'all business past that statement, but y'all keep going. Let me say so something not, about that too. Yeah, go ahead. People be feeling like they know what's going on in like your life and what you got going on, can you film it or just because they pin pieces together, but you don't really know. Like you don't know the full effect and you don't know what people really going through. You don't know what's really happening. You don't know what people working on. So stop coming up with all these opinions and acting like you know son and all them. That is true though, bro. Cause I've seen a lot of people, especially on Twitter, be like making these bold statements like they know it for a fact. Like, oh, he was cheating. He was doing this with Ruby. He was doing this, he was doing that. How do you know this? How? Are you the jacket that he wear? Are you the phone that's, that's in his pocket? Are you the wallet? Are you the beanie that, that he got on his head? Like, how do you know these things? Like, that is the thing that, that always felt weird. Like, y'all be doing too much. So stuff you be seeing about, you know, what's going on, it be false. Like, people do not be knowing what's going on. I be looking at it like, y'all, it's so wrong. Like. Just relax yourself and let people work through their stuff and it'll be better for y'all. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people just, just, I just go through my comments, my mentions and DMs and I just see like people that have no idea what's going on. Like you don't know anything. I don't know anything about your life. You don't know nothing about mine. You know just a tiny bit because I've allowed you to, but you don't know what's really going on on a daily basis when the camera come off. So um, when public figures give you a statement, take the statement, go with the statement and mind your business. Yeah. I feel like people are more passionate about my situation than they are with their own parents. And we don't know you. We're not related to you. She does not know you, okay? I'm her family. She does, she's not your family. That's what people don't understand. Like, they a whole family. Like, yeah, I feel like fans need to be like, Fans need to be fans again, bro. Like, I feel like all this technology and the internet is just making people just get too comfortable. Like, it just be too crazy how people be talking, but all the girls. Most of the fans are still being fans because like, if you're a fan of somebody, like truly a fan of somebody, you, you start can. Especially when, again, with the internet, when you post it so much, like back in the day, you uh, see a celebrity or you see a, a music artist, when they drop something, that's that. Now we get to see them every single day. We get to see all their posts. 
their thoughts when they when they feel like uh, posting something on, on Twitter or on Instagram, on Facebook, whatever. So that makes the the Karen, the likeness, the really the Karen, it adds f- feel to that. Cause like now instead of you, you like you caring, oh my god, I see I see my celebrity on TV. Oh, they're in a new movie. Now my my favorite celebrity said this. They said this. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're doing this. And, and like that's a, that is add, again. This is in my opinion just adding fuel to the fire. But some people just t- take it too far when they start getting really really mad and like when you say when you start getting mad about somebody's situation, you're caring too much. You're doing too much because. It shouldn't. Their lifestyle, what they're doing, does not affect you at all. It don't pay you. It don't hurt you. It don't. It should make you sad. It nothing unless you know the only thing that that should or yeah should make you sad is when a favorite artist, your favorite artist, whether that's music or drawing, whatever, when they pass or if they pass, then yeah, that's sad. But everything else. You're, let it go. I love y'all to death. Y'all hate me, love me every other month. So, you know what? I ain't even tripping. You feel me? Like, if y'all want to hate on me, it's cool. I still love y'all. Y'all look beautiful. Um, And I try my best not to go back and forth with any females, especially in this day and age of my life, because I got so much respect for women that I can't even really get on. Except for the, there's this girl on TikTok that was talking crazy. I had to say her line it was too. But you know, I ain't, I ain't, I had to, cause she was, she had a fro in her line and was chewed. She was just talking crazy. But y'all women, y'all beautiful, y'all super powerful, um, and I have no nothing bad to say about y'all whatsoever. But Joe Budden, we gotta get into that, man. We gotta get into that Joe Budden right there, man. We gotta get into that. You know, you know how this works, Joe Budden. So I don't want to cuss too much, but and say what I really want to say. But you don't really know who you talking to for real. And I don't even come on here on no Like, I ain't coming on here to say I'm going to whoop your ass. I will whoop your ass. Don't get it fucked up. I'll beat the shit out of you. But I ain't coming on here to say that. You feel me? I'm coming on here to say you talking to a real social media legend. You talking to a real, like, somebody that put their family in position to win. Somebody that motivated your kids motivated your your family, your nieces and nephews, somebody that entertained them for years, somebody that really put a stamp on some shit in music. I got way more accolades than you in music and I'm doing way better than you in life in general. And I'm 26 and you're 44. 44. I looked up, I ain't gonna Man. lie. I ain't gonna 44. lie. I didn't even know who, I didn't know who Joe Budden was until he sat next to academics. I ain't know who sure Joe Budden was till the Migos down there. It's always like that. Like I said um, in the original video, it's 8 billion plus people on this earth. It's always going to be somebody who does not know somebody. But to go in on them like they're nothing because you don't know who they are, it's crazy. That's the only thing, like, that ain't the only thing, but that's one of the things that ticked me off about Joe, uh, Joe Budden's face. It was like, bro, like, I understand, all right, you don't have to know Again, everybody doesn't know who everybody is. That's understandable. No matter how famous you are, how much clout you have, everybody don't know who everybody is. Like Elon Musk, I didn't start knowing who he was until I think like a year before he started trying to take over uh, Twitter. Before that, I never heard the name before. Never heard the name, before. and that's a billionaire. And that just shows you everybody doesn't know everybody. You know what they did, him. Everybody know what the Migos did. That's the most. I know about Joe Budden. And then he, I, when I looked him up today, I ain't know he made the pumping song. <laughs> like, oh, come on, man. That's what you hey, I tell lie. your, your I people, hey, bro, car. I, I'm that nigga. No, I no, made no. pumping. No, no, no. I don't know what label he was signed to. They had that bitch on the radio, but you know where they had it at the most? Where? The trampoline parks. That's the only place I know you from. Because <laughs> I used to go to the trampoline parks and they used to play Pump It Up. No, nigga, no, you, no. Oh my God! And he got, he got one. a cheerleader song. Cheerleader he song. He made a cheerleader <laughs> song. Pump, like, come on, pump, like, pump it up. Like, pump, you be dancing to that pump, motherfucker pump with what? Pump They clowning with it. They gotta understand that that song was like when it came out, it was hard. That was a tight, tight song, bro. Like, but you, but you gotta understand, a lot of the music that it's like you know our our taste in clothing, our taste in food, our taste in 
cars. A lot of things with time they have changed. Therefore, a lot of songs that we probably listened to back then, if, 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 if it came out now, it wouldn't hit because we know we had a different time. And then, like, when you listen to a certain song from back then to now, it's like, I already listened to that, bro. Like, what was I listening to? <laughs> like, what was I listening to? But I still got to get George Kelly on that. Pump it up. It still was a tight song, bro. Go in 20 years. That's crazy. 20 years? It that's took you 20 years crazy. ago, go? Wait, what that mean? That is the only thing that's crazy. Because now, 20 years, bro, that song was everywhere. Everywhere when I was a kid. So, therefore, I don't see how it just got it now. To get a gold, to get a gold record, you got to sell 500,000 copies. Right? Mind you, just to put it in perspective, I got three gold records and one double platinum. Mm. And I ain't, I'm nowhere, this man is old enough to be my uncle, my pops. Like, this is an old it. man. OG. He OG. He's a, he's a, he ain't an OG to me. You ain't getting no respect for me. But he like an old dude. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, when I see shit like that, I'm like, damn, I ain't gonna lie. I looked up his accolades and it made me feel way better about myself. Because <laughs> a lot of people be on me crazy. But these ain't even got plaques like this man has one plaque in his home mm. one plaque that's the only one he got the only one he got he been waiting at the mailbox for 20 years to you know get plaque, i ain't gonna bro. lie i'm thinking about when i looked at his song his most popular song his first song on his little music channel it was the pump it up song i'm like that's the only thing you ever made like right. and then you got press about the migo like <laughs> I that's really don't career? know what he do past that besides have a uh, successful podcast. And that's cool and all. You know, I'm fresh in the game and I'm glad you mentioned my name. Because I'm about to, uh, you don't know who you messing with. I'm Mr. Monetizer, okay? I'm going to find out everything about you. I can really dig deep. I don't know if I should do that. Nah. And I don't know if I should do that. I could really dig deep. But Joe Budden... I got it. I got it. I feel like I do need to dig deep. I need, I need to dig a little deeper. He was he was talking a little spicy though. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's wrong him. with him. The people around him all laughing like it's funny. They know they fucking kids watch you and and they be hearing they every kids tell you about them and you know that they like what? All them old They for sure knew cause cause that's how the one dude knew that he dated Ruby. Come on, bro. Like he could have easy by bro, like you ain't gotta do all that. Like everything like people whether it was it like it's a regular job, friend, regular personal life, job, on the job, off the job, whatever. When you hear your friends talking out the side of their neck, shut them down. Like, hey, bro, like, like, like you ain't gotta quickly like defend the other person, but hey, bro, like, it got he like, come on, bro, like, let's not act like again. Like my whole thing was he talked, he talked like down talk DG, like he was absolutely nothing. Only his only tie to clout, fame, money, whatever, is having, and that's like what, bro? Like that is crazy. Like especially when it's for sure not true. Like I, if it was true, then it, hey, it is what it is. But we for sure, if you've been watching this dude long enough, you know for a fact that is not true. She's not like, and then for him, like oh, he, he like. We'll never hear about the next person he's dating. Like, bro, do you see the lineup? Not even to be uh, watching like that, but, bro, the lineup with Hattie and before Hattie, still cold. Still cold. Like, come on, bro. Old people on that podcast know who I am, and no disrespect to the woman, but you're a part of the group. All y'all old folks know who I am, and if you don't know who I am, do your professional fucking job and do your research. Okay, look it up before you speak because you don't know. You don't so know who you're talking to. Even talk about you then, if you because it's popping. Because everyone talks about it. You everyone, kept your name, everybody, you want, want, yes, he knows. Nigga, you all it takes is a, a, a few scrolls and you'll know who I am. Quit acting like y'all don't know who I am. Y'all know y'all see him. Go on Instagram. Go on TikTok. Go on YouTube. You scroll on your phone. You gonna see him. You gonna see at least one clip of him. His son. Or his nephew, you know that. You feel me? Right. It's, that's how it is with him. Like, I feel it's, like it's just viral. Don't understand, like, and I, I'm very, very humble. Believe it or not, when it comes, like, I, I got nice stuff. I buy nice things all the time. I'm extremely humble. Okay, when it comes to who I am. 
But don't get it misconstrued. I know I'm that nigga. Like, I know what I bring to the table. I know what I've been doing. But, like, a lot of people forget what I've done um, when it comes to social media, pioneering, you know, transitioning from music, I mean, from from social media to music, the community, um, the community I built. Facts. And another thing, like, I seen a, uh, like, a basic comment, and the girl was basically comparing DDG to uh, to Kiki Palmer's boyfriend or baby daddy, whatever. But it's like, one, <laughs> no glazing, but DDG is richer. Two, her, her baby daddy was called insecure because he felt some type of way about his baby mama, Kiki Palmer, being on the, uh, I guess, the, it was an Usher concert or whatever. And she's right there, mind. She just had a baby. So let me use a mom. And then she had a, uh, uh, see, basically like a, like a see-through outfit on. Like, yeah, the chest was covered, but her whole yams was out. All, like, as soon as she turned around, that's all you see. All yams. And it's like, bruh, like, where is the respect for yourself and, and for, you know, the father of your child? Like, come on. Like, and he was called insecure because he felt some type of way about that. What man wants their girl, their wife, their, their their baby mama, their girlfriend, their future wife, whatever, on a on stage in front of all these people with their arms out? Some people don't care, but a lot of us men do care. That's why a lot of y'all don't get the respect that y'all think that y'all deserve because y'all y'all walking outside or going to certain places with the arms out, and it's like that is for that that's supposed to be for the bedroom. Not for TV. If that would been, if that would been Lizzo, they would have went in on her when she went to that when she went to the basketball game with that uh, dress thing on, and they went in. But because it's somebody else, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Not even, not even to get on, on the, you know, the body shaming thing. But it's like, bro, like wrong is wrong, right is right, and ladies, walk around going places, new is wrong, like. Where's your morals at? Like the numbers I've been pulling in since I was 19. I'm 20, about to be 27 now. Um, we in a day and an age where we starting to forget who was around us or who was entertaining us when we was younger. And that's cool. I feel like it's a lot of people coming out right now and it's easy to get lost in the sauce and you forget who you really messing with. but. I'm very humble, believe it or not, but I still know I'm that nigga. I know what I done done in the game. Your brother just not like nobody. Um, he even went in on Kai. Who is this guy? Who is this? What is like, bro? Like, again, it's okay to not know who who somebody is, but when you have a major platform, do your research before you try to down talk somebody. And that goes for anybody that you know that's gonna. Hop on any type of social media thing and talk about anybody. Before you down talk them, like they are absolutely nothing, do your research first. I know I didn't win double platinum. I know I didn't been on multiple tours. I know I've been around the world. I know I didn't made millions and millions and millions of dollars. I know all of this. It's just like I don't show off my accolades enough. And I feel like today was a wake up call for me because it's niggas really out here disrespecting me. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm too humble. I feel like it's bad to say this, but what is it, Joe Button? Joe Biden. Joe, Joe Biden, uh, whatever. Him, he a troll. Cause every time I always see him, he always talking shit, but it don't even be called for. Like, I feel like at his age and with his podcast and with the people he got on there, they look like the, uh, the type of group that have tried to teach you something right. and, and say something good to actually affect you and make you feel good and make you take it, you know, take it with you and make you like, you know, learn something. But that's not the type of nigga he is. He just automatically came at your head like a young YN, you feel me? That's what I'm saying. He, he going with the trend, like he, 
I want to still be popping. I need to stay relevant type of nigga. Like, I need to That's do okay. something to keep my shit rocking. Like, I need to get this viral clip for this podcast. That type of dude he gave me when he did that. Them type of people. And he too old for that. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You can get your numbers by teaching the younger generation how to be better. Not, you know all the young niggas, that's how they act. That's how they would have been talking about somebody. Why would you Why would you even show them that? Like that? That's facts though. That's facts. That, hey, he could have easily did that. Like if you if you wanted to, to school him or something, you didn't have to hate who was he. I'm glad they broke up. Now he, he ain't got to be tied to her. He ain't got his own this. He ain't got his own name. I don't, I don't know him from nothing. Like you could have easy, hey bro, like hey, if, 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 if this was me, I wouldn't have posted that on the internet. Especially with that being my baby mama, I wouldn't have posted that. Especially if one day I'm hoping, you know, God willing that we can get back together. That's even though yeah, you told your fans y'all support us, but everybody don't need to know everything. But it's like you could have. You could have easily made that a ticket moment instead of a down talking moment. But then again, like Ron said, that probably was really truly what he wanted. A trending viral moment. Because that's what he got. 